I'm, I'm a big proponent of fasting from a, a tool to create change in a disease process or a state of health, and then also as an anti-aging and, and longevity tool. I think the Peter Tia it says this really, really well that, you know, we don't really have a good, we don't know how to properly dose fasting to get a clinical effect. And so we kind of have these rough parameters that, you know, just logically kind of make sense in terms of, you know, how intense the fast is and how frequent it is. A lot of the times I'm telling my patients that, you know, if we're doing 36 hour fast, so basically you're just going one day and then you've got the sleep on both ends. If we're doing that, we could do that every one to two weeks, depending on their metabolic health, what else, uh, other stressors that they have going on. And then if we are moving up into like the three day fast, maybe that's every, you know, three to four weeks. And then if we're doing a full five to seven day fast, that's kind of more like once a quarter. And then obviously we can intermix our, our daily time restricted feeding uh, in with that. But I, I mean, I personally think it's, it's a big, big underutilized strategy in the, uh, in the chronic disease and chronic pain world, but just in a regular, you know, anti-aging, like let's try to stay as healthy as we can for as long as possible. Mm -hmm.